Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments and that you're well. That's good to hear. And thank you very much for the support for the channel. Very much appreciated. Please continue to keep doing what you're doing with all the button pushes and everything else. Well, I want to uh, read something to you, first of all. Protesters followed through on their threat to disrupt at Wimbledon and stormed court 18 on the third day of the championships. Two individuals breached security measures and scattered orange ticker tape onto the court shortly after the start of the match between uh, Grigor Dimitrov and Sho Shima Bakuro. I think I've said their names right. The ticker tape was smuggled onto court in a 1,000-piece jigsaw of centre court. The crowd booed and an onlooker shouted, I hate you and I hope you're happy with yourselves when the activists broke onto the court. The litter was quickly removed by ball boys and Wimbledon staff with leaf blowers, but play was suspended shortly after due to rain. Both protesters arrested. This, of course, I am referring to Just Stop Oil. Yet again, they disrupted Wimbledon. I'm led to believe not once, but twice, running onto the courts and throwing their orange crap everywhere. Now, Wimbledon is one of the events that was listed when I spoke about this a day or two ago. And yet again, I have to ask myself the question, how'd they get in there? Did they buy a ticket? Who bought it for them? How much did it cost? How did they get there? Did they drive? Uh, walking in with just stop all t-shirts on? It just doesn't add up at all, does it? It's like the cricket the other day. How did they get in? How much did it cost? What what stuff did they smuggle through? They're being funded somewhere by, by someone, somehow. Now, a little bit of investigation work has been done for me. And somebody sent me an email through of a company's house record. And you can look at this yourself. It's all public information. Just Stop Oil Limited. There is a company out there called Just Stop Oil Limited. Now, that would tell me that this is far more than a protest group. A ragtag bunch of friends getting together to sit on the N25 on a Monday morning and bring it all to a halt it's very well organised, obviously very well funded, and there is a company there as well. It won't stop, folks. It's too organised for that, I think. And until we get tough, until we, you know, get more pounded with these people, it will continue. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any other pieces of information, by all means, drop them to me, and we'll see what we can do. And uh, yes. Until the next one, I'll see you soon. Toodaloo.